So hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great. And today's video, we are going to talk about how we can create this kind of CGI in Blender. So without any further delay, now let's get started to tutorial. So first of all, guys, right now on my screen, you can see we are in a new Blender project file. So uh, first of all, I'll just click on this plus icon and I'll just go to my VFX section and I'll just add the motion tracking. Here you can see this is a motion tracking panel where we can track and like detect the camera uh activity and the movement from the real footages basically so uh, for that what we need basically we need one footages and what i will do basically i'll just add the link into the description of that footage which is i'm using here so you can practice it later after watching this video so i'll just click on the open and i'll just locate my footages here you can say this is my footage i'm just going to double click and that footage will come into the blender so first of all, whenever you are just adding your footage into your Blender, you have to do major two things. First of all, you have to just go to your like Blender property section and just scroll it down. And here you can see we have one color management option. You have to just change this view transfer AGX to the standard. So what will happen after that basically, first of all, you will get the real color of this footage and also it will help to like, track our footage because we have now more contrast into our footages secondary you have to make sure that your footage is uh, frame rate and uh, the blender frame rate should be exactly same otherwise you might get some trouble so for what you have to do basically first of all you have to check like what is exactly frame rate of your uh, footages so now here you can see guys this is our footage detail sorry and here you can see uh, this is exactly uh, i'm just going to drag it a little bit if okay now here you can see guys uh this is like 1920 and 1080 this is the exactly expect ratio of this footage and also 29.97 is a frame rate of this video so we will exactly put the same frame rate into our blender settings as well and maybe we can say like dim blender uh inside the blender as well so from here we can change the frame rate we'll just add exactly 2.97 just yes. so this is exactly frame rate we have matched with the footages now we are like good to go to like do the next step so first of all what you have to do uh, on my screen right now you can see uh first one is option is called basically set scene frames and what is that exactly so right now on my screen you can see we have a like first frame is one and last frame is a 250 uh basically but uh, if i will just click this option so what will happen so it will like set the scene frame exactly of the footage basically right now you can see we have a 243 frame uh, of this video into this video basically but right now we have a 250 when i just click on this button so here you can see automatically like subtract some frames and set the the frame rate exactly uh, of this footage is that is really nice by the way and secondly basically you have to just hit the prefetch button and what it does exactly prefetch help to us uh, increase up like uh smoothness and it will like create a some cache and you can say in the second language is like it will bake your uh, whole footages and it will help to like play your footage in a very smoothly and here you can see if i'm just gonna prefetch now here you can see if i'm just gonna like play the video so it will play in real time it will not interrupt in between while doing the tracking basically so make sure after doing these settings you should also do uh, do the two uh, uh more settings then you are now ready to go okay now what you have to do basically you could just click this normalize option and also just change the keyframe matches the previous frame okay and then we'll just click on the detect feature and what will happen exactly basically and what is these yellow dots okay so yellow dots it's called basically marker and it will and directly like track our footage uh movement and everything and help to like get the all movement into our blender camera as well so when you just click on the detect feature you will get a little dialog box in like left over here so these are some like values these are the margins of the all the what we can say like uh, markers okay and these are the threshold between it like how much it will be close and this is the distance exactly okay so i'm just gonna decrease the distance first of all like uh, decrease the threshold and decrease the margin as well basically I'll just make sure the the most of the tracker should be into the this place basically so it will help us to like create and track the whole place will add the any object into here basically I'm just going to like add more marker into this place if it is possible so that would be great for me as well. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I think it is. It is great. Just decrease. Okay, all right. I think that is enough for me right now because we have lots of markers here. Let me uh, check once. I think it is. This is also good. Okay. Let me just increase the threshold. Okay, threshold is like causing to like decreasing the flow uh, markers. Okay, I think that is good to go for me but because we have these kind of markers that will help us to attract exactly and place any object into this footage basically. Yes, so after doing all those stuff, make sure just hit the this marker button, basically track marker button. And it will like track whole footage is something like that. That's so awesome, by the way. First of all, I'll just do lock. Yeah, you can just do control L, lock the whole um, marker so it won't be moved anywhere and just hide it first of all. Then again, you have to just click the detect feature. Right now, what we have what we done exactly, we just track like 1, 2, 243. Now we will just do the same thing in the backward as well. I'm just gonna track it backward as well. Okay, you can see we have another what we can say tracking detail now i'm just gonna hide everything and alt and unlock everything okay then i'll select everything something like that and let's just go to my solve camera motion option here all right after that i'll just enable some options make sure we just enable this optical center and the focal length as well and key frame also as well okay after that you have to just firstly just click on the solve camera motion button and what is exactly the solve camera motion option where it does so basically after uh, tracking your whole footages we just do the solve camera motion tracking option and after uh, like finishing this option we get some error value and if we get the error value in a points in, in point like 0 0.0543 like 0.53 so that's great like less value is a perfect uh, what we can say tracking and higher value is a like bad tracking so we have to like maintain the error value within a point something like right now you can see we get the 0 0.06 that is enough for me right now but if you want to decrease all uh, again these uh, values basically so what you can do you can just do the cleanup option and just do the filter track and it will find some problematic trackers that definitely like uh, not exactly tracking and something like that then we can just delete it and again we can do that solve camera motion and it will again regenerate the solving camera motion and again regenerate some value and that value should be definitely less than the 0 0.6 so it's great like less and less value is a great higher values are bad basically so when you get your like exact less value that means you are good to go out see right now we get a seven like this is totally wrong so what we have to do for that we have to just delete all those markers which is like higher number like 10, 10, 10, 11, 17, 21, 21, 23, yeah. So you have to delete all those markers. Delete markers, here you can see. We have to delete all those markers which is above from the 7. Okay, these are the above from the 7. Yeah, there are lots of marks by the way. I think these are enough. I'm not going to delete much. Okay, after that, let's see again to the solve camera motion and right now I'm hoping in finger cross we get the value in our like points so we can start our next step. Let's see guys, uh, sometimes it takes time, sometimes. See, we are a little bit less marker but not exactly the value we are desiring by the way. So what I will do basically, we'll just add some value here like 5. So it will like delete all the, all those, uh, uh, what we can say markers that value is a uh, less than five but i think right now we have a higher number here as well we have to just delete all of them because it is very problematic so make sure you don't read this one basically let's see which one it is okay just delete it once okay These markers, okay. Now again, we'll do the solve camera motion, and right now I'm hoping I'll get the best result. If we get, we can start our next process. And this is this this is really takes some time. Okay, you have to be patient about it because there's not like one click option. Okay, you have to really patient about it. And I'm not cutting any part of this video because I want to show the real uh, struggle of this uh, thing. Basically, again, I get the some error number. 
see it is happening so you have to little bit patience okay don't worry about it it does happen sometime it's okay we can just do the again filter track clean track basically we can like select all those trackers and just delete it yeah i think now we'll just do the last thing okay you have to very patience about it because yeah it is taking time but after doing all those stuff after doing all those things you will able to create a perfect 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 what we can say uh cgi see again we get very higher number don't worry about it just delete some manuals okay like i'm gonna think these okay i think that is enough okay just check the zero there we go guys I mean, right now i'm hoping i can get the best result i'm just gonna deleting some manual marker as well and this has happened guys this is nothing like if you will do that you have to do also okay i get the good number in, in the initial uh, time but if i just start uh doing the next step so you are missing this thing okay might be possible you're not getting the same uh problem in the same footages right now but might be problem might make you get the same problem in the other footages as well so i'm just giving you some uh like what we can say behind the scene how how uh, like things are very complicated to creating all those stuff okay i'm just going deleting everything i'm hoping i'm getting the good amount amount of what we can say camera solution let's see guys i'm hoping right now i will get okay so that is great i think 0 0.77 is perfect for me so okay. and i hope you also get the concept what i did exactly and why it necessary to doing basically okay now after doing all those things first of all what you have to do basically you have to select any kind of tracker from the here okay and you have to just scroll it down and just do the set origin first of all so sometimes what happens basically when you just click on the set origin your like what we can say uh your cube is like disappearing that's mean the scene is very very big that's what's happening basically so how to fix this problem you have to select at least two marker first of all then you have to just click on the set origin and then you have to just do apply scale and once you apply scale first you set the scale and apply scale and then you have to just click on the set origin so now here you can see your problem is finished so don't worry about it guys sometimes it's happened you just don't be panic about it just watch this video twice and try you will get the exactly what i did exactly here now you can just do it. set the origin into the center something like that and i'll just do the set origin and i can just scale this uh what we can say i think um, so I delete this plane i don't want this so scale it something like that now i'll just move into my uh, layout section and let's see how how cool it is like tracking or not so let's see it is tracking or not see guys how precisely and how how like clearly it is tracking our cube and that I want basically okay so our tracking is done now one more thing we have to very 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 make sure while doing after doing the tracking facility right now you can see the whole uh, like uh, grids and the gizmos are very confusing basically we have to fix uh, all those things how we can fix all those things i'm gonna teach you just make sure stay tuned with me so what i will do basically first of all i'm just gonna change my uh, like uh, uh origin your yeah, pivot point to the 3d cursor and i'll just select my camera something like that okay and i'll just try to re-center yeah, re align all those things according to this uh, footage basically i'm just gonna select my camera r y okay r x no r z first of all yeah it is looking nice and then i'm just gonna r y okay it is straight oh nice i'm just gonna do r z okay now here you can see how cool it is by the way it is looking awesome our whole footage is working very 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 nice now what I will do, I'm just gonna like select this one. I'm just gonna delete all those faces, pressing the delete button. Faces. I'm just gonna select this one and just do set origin to geometry. And I'm just gonna press the shift S and I'll just do selection to person. No, person to no selection to person. Yeah. Now here we go, guys. I'm just gonna scale this. There you can see this is our background. Okay. So,
perfect scale it okay everything is looking nice medium point scale it yeah everything is looking very great by the way now what i will do basically i'm just gonna add in some like comfort in okay what we can say uh, some object so i'll just add the same robot which is i'm showing in initial yeah like we can say beginning of the my video so i'll just use the character robot it little bit something 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 like that just hide everything rotate it that's cool why did i scale it here you can see guys how cool it is like that's it pg again tracking in blender mode if you enjoyed this video and you're learning something something if you're learning please guys just like my video and do support me okay now i'm just gonna move this a little bit here oh my god that's your awesome baby now it's time to add the lighting into our scene so it will like become a part of this scene basically so for that what we have to do first of all i'm just gonna like switch into my cycling mode which i'm already in so i'm just gonna switch into my renting mode and now uh, here you can see guys i have already added one sdrs so i'm just gonna first of all like we make this scene as a transparent so for that what we have to do we have to just scroll it down into our uh, like uh, render property section just go here and just go transparent transparent class or double security anything else so you, if you don't do the transparent class it's okay because it is using when you have uh, like something like transparent okay but i'm just doing okay i, I love to do that like there is nothing used right now in this footage but i'm doing because i like it and I'm just gonna delete this slide because it is not used anything here. Okay, so everything is looking very good to go. Now here you can see the shadow is uh, like uh, not exactly placing into our uh, floor. So for that, what we have to we have to just select our plane and then we have to just go to open data property options. And here we will get the one visibility option. We have to just go to here and just go to on the mask section. You will get one option it's called basically shadow catcher. Let's click on it. And here we go guys we have a realistic shadow here and this look awesome now we have to match the light of all this what we have to do basically we have to add some sdr here and what kind of sdr you should exactly add here because you have to see first uh, what we can see the, the, the environment of this footage is right now here you can see we have uh, some like cloudy uh, uh sky in this footage is. but before doing anything we have to just go to your camera and we have to just go to our background images and we have to increase opacity so we can see exactly what's going on here and that's that's awesome guys that's awesome so now uh, what i'm saying basically we have a like little bit cloudy cloudy um sky in this footage so what i will do is i'll just add some uh that kind of sdra they have uh, some cloudy sky so let's find out yeah i know that one sdra is named basically uh factory something yeah basically read the strength yeah see how cool it is looking by the way and the rotation of the shadow should be should be should be should be at least in red i already did that yeah. CGI placing into our the footage is that's look awesome by the way you can do with any object I just place the robot you can place anything whatever you like it guys okay so I'm just gonna play the animation and let's see how it's look like by the way okay that is looking awesome here you can see so the whole the whole CGI is perfectly matching with this uh, environment that's awesome by the way so i hope guys that's it for this tutorial and i hope guys you enjoy this tutorial and you learn something new today so if you learn something new please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session will like me in the comment box i definitely reply comment so bye bye take care stay home guys and love you all